Hey guys, okay, so I got a lot of requests yesterday for my really adorable keychains that I posted, and now all of a sudden I, customers are asking me for keychains and I've got all these ideas. So I am gonna make a keychain for my son's teacher for her birthday, and I'm gonna use his, his handwriting to personalize it. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. I've got my little apple right here, and I've decided I wanna make my entire keychain about three by three. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna make the width three inches, and now I have the appropriate size for my keychain. Now that I have my image, I am going to go ahead, now that I've sized it properly, I need to create an inset because I plan to make, I don't even know if that's a word, inset. <laughs> I need to create another apple shape. So I'm gonna use the offset shapes right here, and I'm going to make it go inward by 0.12, okay? So this is gonna be, I'm, I plan to make this a piece of red acrylic for the apple, and this back part is going to be made out of wood. So I want to attach my leaf and my stem to the back of my apple. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld those together, and I'm gonna use Boolean Union of two shapes. There we go, perfect. So this is the base of my, of my um, project. Now I wanna do something really cool and I wanna take my son's handwriting and customize it. So I'm gonna go ahead and import my son's handwriting and this is his attempt at writing his teacher's name. So I'm gonna do one image at a time so I don't get overwhelmed. And I have to take this image I'm gonna grab it and I need to trace his handwriting. So I'm gonna go up here to tools, oops, go down here to trace image. That's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna fade the image here and then I'm gonna lower the threshold so I can get his lines as clean as possible. That's not always hard to do, especially with a toddler, but we will do our best. Okay, so I've got you know, the basics of his handwriting right there. I need to ungroup all these pieces. So I'm gonna go up here to my lonely man. I wanna make all of my pieces lonely. Move his out of the way so I can get rid of all this extra stuff. Okay. Now I need to make it a lot smaller. Oops, did I delete his C? I just didn't bring it over, okay. There we go. I know this isn't the best, but this is the fastest way I can get it out to you and it gives you enough of an idea to do whatever it is you wanna do. Okay, so, so far I've got part of her name and it looks decent enough that I can work with it. So now I need to get the Y because he was getting lazy on me. So I had him write it a second time and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm I'm gonna work on the misses. So I wanna make sure that this fills the inner part of my red apple. Okay. And I need to thicken up the font because I don't want it to break. So I'm gonna do an offset. Remember that's this right here. And I'm gonna make it outward. Whoa, that's too much of an offset. We just need a little bit. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna do the same thing now for the rest of her name. Now I need to make a little hole for my key ring and so that I can get a precise idea of how big it is, I'm gonna use my handy dandy calipers, which I love. And this is gonna let me know the size of my key ring, 0 0.07. So I think I read somewhere that somebody likes to use 0.19, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little circle. And I'm gonna make that circle a perfect circle at point 19. Okay, and then what I wanna do is I'm gonna set it about right there. Okay. And I wanna create an offset from my circle. Okay, so again, Go to my offset tool, 
I want to make this a pretty big offset because I want to thicken up my apple. I don't want the key ring to fall off. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the outer circle, grab my back, my background for my apple, and I'm going to use Boolean Union of Two Shapes again. I'm going to weld them together, and there's there's my little key ring hole. Perfect. I can't wait to cut it. It's going to look so cute. All right, let's get to cutting. Okay guys, so I get one shot of this because this is all the 3M I have left and my shipment doesn't get here until Saturday and I have to get this out tomorrow, Friday. <laughs> so I am stretching every last little bit that I have. I'm using my handy dandy calipers again. My little letters, see I've, I've nested and I've squished the letters together as best as I can. And they come out to 2.21. Okay, so we've got 2.21. Okay, I've got plenty of room by 0.9. So I've got enough, I think, to survive. And then I've got enough for my apple. So wish me luck. I'm going to use 85 power, 10 speed on a Mira 7, 60 watt. Just a little trick here. I held this up to the light and I traced where the 3M is to make sure that I get my, um, my cut right within where I've laid the tape. Now we're gonna cut it. because the kids are asleep in the room next to me, but how cute. So I painted it, right? When I had the masking on, I let it dry, I peeled it off. I sanded off just a hair and I just finished, I don't know if you can see with the sheen, I just finished spraying um, just a little bit of lacquer to help seal in the acrylic paint. And now I've got to go ahead and glue on or Stick, take off the 3M and hopefully get it beautifully centered. So I'm so excited. I think this is such a sweet little gift. His teacher's birthday is on Monday and I am such a procrastinator. <laughs> we were supposed to write, the, the children were supposed to write a birthday card and then we were supposed to email, I mean we were supposed to mail it to the teacher. And uh, if I don't get this in the mail tomorrow, I'm gonna be that mom that didn't get the gift out. But you know, of course I can't just write a card. I gotta go and make some, cause I, I'm a mom with a laser. All right, ready? Now I've learned that the trick to 3M is really, um, you know, putting in enough pressure on it so that it gets a really good bond. So, not only am I gonna hold it down, I think overnight I'm gonna press it down and put something heavy onto it. Oh, I'm so excited. I think she's gonna just adore this. What teacher wouldn't? Okay, so uh, I've really stretched this 3M as far as I could. And now I've gotta do every little letter and stick it inside. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> adorable little custom keychain. I think Miss Lucy is going to love it. And now I'm thinking this would be a great idea for Mother's Day. You could do a, like a heart shaped or a flower and you could put mommy or Nana or even just a child's drawing if they can't write yet. So sweet. And then they can take it with them everywhere. So if you make one, please tag me. I'd love to see what you create. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions or if there's any other way that I can serve you. And with that, I will see you guys here next time on That Mom with a laser. Mm -hmm.